Hello, ladies, gents, and witnesses to my depravity. We return to the wonderful concentration camp known as the Mountains of Madness. I've queued up the next digging project. I'm sure nothing terrible will be dug out as we make it through this area. Major Stupid has recovered. Well done, Major Stupid. Soon, you will ascend to the wonderful pillowy cushions of heaven, but not yet. You're still bound to this material world and all the suffering within. Hike, if you would do me a favor to construct that tile first before you make yourself unavailable to reach it. I appreciate that. Don't. I knew it. I knew it. She can still walk through it though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, there you go. Important to be able to not trap your colonies behind walls like absolute morons. It will be funny for the prank potential of her just banging on the door and people are like, what, what is going on? This place is haunted. And it's all the time is just hike her muffled cries behind the wall trying to get out, but she can never get out and just dies from malnutrition. Quite the tragic story right there. Diver is a, has had better days. It's okay, though, because he has had catharsis. He understands what the world is like. Soon, he will join the group of degenerates that have tortured him, and all shall be forgiven. We don't have a, a project over here. How can this possibly be? Actually, there's, there's nothing really you do at this midi once you get reach a certain technological level. Maybe you'll still make some kit helmets eventually when the kits happen. Thing is, like, this colony is the most frigid, sexless den of austerity that I've ever seen. It's like, <clears throat> where's the freaking romance? What the hell? The other colony that I had, if you remember, I showed you the ending of the Arco Nexus. There were, like, five different romances going on. Like, this place... Everybody hates each other. What is going on? Blargo has no real relationships to speak of. Ragman likes one person a little bit. <laughs> that's, that's about it. It's like, oh, look, Banana gets along pretty decently with most. He might have a bit of a chance with Eric, chance with Erica Dawson. Maybe. But uh, it's, it's just not looking great for the the future relationships of this place. Uh, T-Rose, she's a complete misandrist. All her friends are female. <laughs> she's, she's living in a hen house. She's the top of the pecking order. Everybody, I guess, I guess Grave Digger is not female, is she? Is he? No. So maybe she's into furries. That's even worse. So I don't know. I don't know what, who... Who among these people will romance thing? I know that there's a manual romance uh, uh, option. You can tell your colleagues to romance each other. And, you know, you do still roll the dice, but you can sort of kind of force it. I don't like doing that. I like, you know, just watching things happen and things emerging on their own instead of just telling people, hey, now you're in love with this person and that's it. Unless we discovered the psychic power to get that done in which case it is very much within the theme the dystopian nightmare theme of having people the psyker of the colony telling people he's not even telling people who to love he's making people fall in love brainwashing people i am all about that. i will be totally into that if we manage to get that far but and it seems that that's going to be what's gonna have to happen because none of these people Want to get in bed together and make some freaking babies. It is just outrageous. It's just not right. Medical treatment needed. It's freaking gut worms, brother. It is getting to the point where, uh, you know, this is all nice and open. We need to make some actual containment cells to make the study of these filthy creatures more forthcoming. Finally these fences are being built i refrained from uh queued up any more orders so maybe we can get some actual jobs finished instead of having everything halfway done so you know i, I just chilled 
just let things happen as they go. Here's Brexel creating some pants and some shirts because we are completely bereft of apparel. And I uh, have finally queued up some electric smelter stuff to get rid of all the tainted crap. I don't even know if we are... Yeah, we are storing some tainted crap that will be destroyed or smelted, depending on whatever the, uh, the hell it is. So, you know, the, a little bit of prosperity starting to happen at last. Things are starting to chill out. Let's put a door here for some reason. There you go. I have no wood. Like, what's going on? Why, why are things not being built let me just chop down some trees and the, the tree chopping situation is getting a little bit more dicey did we ever haul all the stuff i think uh, we did i think everything is already gone it would be nice to deconstruct these chip chunks so now there was an update where these don't just drop meat let me just chop two of them chop 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 these two now they also drop when you chop them down some bioferrite, which is the like the material you want to use to create occult garbage. So looking forward to getting that, getting that in our inventory. Ah, I can't wait for this fence area to be finished at last. It is pissing me off. Okay, mm all right. Why are these being stored over here? It makes no freaking sense, brother. It's okay. They'll eventually move them to where they need to go. Don't worry about it. Something That's right. Something I wanted to do. Largo, he is busy building things. It's very nice that he's building things. But I would like you to create that scyther. And he just now got used up those two slots right there. He's going to finally get some some mm, 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 bodyguards to get that done and we also have this thing that i haven't used we do need to research it the thing is i am too freaking stupid to realize i i need a, i need a research area the thing is you don't really want to make it alongside this area you want to have the research area in its own little cubby hole because you want it to be really clean nice and clean and beautiful and, you know, it will be really expensive to floor this into, into really clean tiles. So let's create a nice research lab that is independent from this spot. I don't want to take up this area because it is a good area for expansion for more farming. So hopefully if I expand towards this side, uh, let's see. We want the way that a lab is shaped. Let's put a door there, a little bit of space for some art or whatever, and let's give it a six by 10. We want two benches. It is five tiles for a bench plus two of the multi-analyzer. And let's give it a little bit more space. Uh, that's a pretty damn decent space for, for a lab right there. I like it. All right. Get some time going on. All right, Blargo put in that scyther in there gorgeous stuff oh our food crisis has been completely solved it is very very nice it was very touch and go very iffy for a little while but we are pretty much we, are, we have solved that problem for quite a while our old better situation is slowly getting there finally we got an unknown bed over here we can get rid of this bedroll and as soon as these boulders are out of here Hopefully, we'll have a nice room for break soul. And uh, it will be the greatest, the greatest room. And you stole this trash. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Feeling great. Opening up this entire area. Yeah, it's just going to be more living spaces. Because we have so many people. I, I, this is a pretty fat colony. 15 colonies right now. I know, all right, uninstall that. We can also uninstall bananas. And only grave diggers is left. No wonder they weren't building the freaking beds. We had no wood. That was idiotic. These guys are working as fast as they can to get rid of all the chunks. And as soon as the chunk gets freed, one of them gets moved out of the way. There goes the elephant. 
getting that crap out of the <laughs> out of the place. But you know, I, I would like these to be moved. Uh, we can also expand this into all these damn uh, brick warnings. They are driving me crazy. Also, I would like yeah. Let's wait for this to be deconstructed. Eventually, it's gonna happen, right? You are are you a constructor? Constructor? You know you're not. You're not a constructoid either. Banana is not a constructoid. He's just hauling things around. The thing is, this is going to deteriorate in quality. It's just uh, pretty freaking upsetting. This is the slowest pen enclosure ever. I would like these to be for... Let me just uh, deconstruct all these. And we're going to have furniture animal sleeping spot something else i wash i should do is actually give them some good beds you know what this is a decent spot for the animals to sleep all the elephants just casually go into the door <laughs> casually go through the door and sleep in the corner the elephant pig style i guess elephant style the spoil patch for the elephants Hey, come back the machinery. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, all the, the digging. Ooh, masterwork. Sandstone dresser. Mm -mm -mm. Incredible. Mm. Elephants, uh, they're going to be sleeping there. I would like to deconstruct all of these. Get out of there, you silly. Si oh, I would like to put this as kibble. Not hay, but kibble. That is, and that is the only place where Kibble goes. We got a quest available. Let me uh, do this quickly. Okay. okay, there's no Kibble. There's no Kibble. All right. Quest available. Praetor Gala Ancinatus of the Refugee Empire needs people to help prepare a ceremony. She's looking for, to lend six coins for 13 years old or 15 days for absolute trash. You can shove this quest right up your asshole. I do not give a crap. Something I would love to do is go out and answer that distress signal. Why is Brakes all, all, all wounded like? What the hell just... What the hell just happened? I was not paying attention. <laughs> you weirdos! Lego my Mega viciously, viciously insulted Brakesol's mother's toilet habits. Your mother used to go all over the damn colony, shit on the walls, smear it all over the damn place. Sick of it! You stink like your mother also always did. Break Soul did not take it. She Break Soul has been taking so many insults for so long. He can no longer be sticking things standing down like that. It's just it's just terrible. Let me just cancel the hauling of all of these. Cancel the haul of all of these. I want. There you go. Cancel. I want these hauled out of the way. And maybe we can have a nice, impressive bedroom. What else can we give uh, in furniture? Oh, what we'll do, we'll just put another... Eh, it's so far out of the way, though. I was going to say, we'll put another um, neural supercharger. But not. how about a sleep oscillator? It's nowhere near the freaking wire. It's so upsetting that the wire happens to be exactly too far to plug into everything. Very, very stupid. I constructed it in the absolute worst way possible. Here, there you go. Move that time forward. The prosperity. Oh, look at Diver. Look, Diver, he's going to finally be part of our colony. Hunting workside contains lizard skin and pemmican, huh? That may be our next solution to the uh, meals problem. Because, you know what? Human meat is starting to run low. We gotta go out raiding. And when I say raiding, I mean go out and slaughter some more innocents. Oh yeah, is this done? No, no, it's only halfway done. And I would love for it to be fully done so we can start planting a bajillion spores. Hey, look at this beautiful little... Decent. It is decent. 
I do need it to be impressive though. This is not good enough. Maybe once Blargo uh, builds that. Okay, unassign that. We're going to give it to our friend Break Soul. He's earned it. All the bullying he pulls up with, all the terrible, terrible insults constantly. I would like to have some chemicals, but I am waiting on this damn psychoid to grow. Pretty freaking annoying. I guess we could plant smoke leaf, but who cares? Who cares, who cares about that? Um, so expand our home zone. Diver has lost his shit again. <laughs> Once more, the, it's like the weekly diver fit. Breaks all the ugly son of a bitch. Grave digger. The grave digger is going to go in all three of them. Do not fire at will. Just walk in there. No, no, don't just attack. Punch. Just kindly punch him back into the bed. Uh, you know, maybe this has something to do with the fact that like, everybody hates each other. Maybe because I resort to violence at every chance that I get. Okay, divers down. <laughs> well done, you savages. Uh, you know, he, he probably doesn't get along with uh, a whole lot of our people because, you see, he gets beaten all the time into submission by, by the most of the colonies. Yeah, Nostrafin Damas happened to have killed his son. There's a bit of a rivalry going on over here. Uh, for some reason, both t Rose and Effin Damas get credit for killing his son. There is some serious... Serious personal stuff that ha is going on with Diver. Uh, oh, what? I was like, why did this get converted into a prison? Well, because the damn door got broken down. Blargo, why are you even doing? Are you praying? What? Are you praying to yourself? Are you just trying to find a little bit of intros intros introspection? Because you are the supreme leader of this place. Okay, that's. Not for prisoners. This is for colonists. Take Grave Digger to the place. Distant Shriek. The colonists hear inhuman shrieks in the distance. Something is out there. Ominous. Ominous indeed. Do we finally have a pen? Holy crap. We finally have a pen. That's amazing. We can at last deconstruct this thing. Man, that took forever. Hey, we are also getting some sweet, sweet plants. So, I don't know what this means. I am going to say probably more of those disgusting uh, sight stealers. It really is a complete mystery. The distant shriek. You're always hearing human shrieks in the distance. Something is out there. Do I just let things happen? Or should I get everybody in high alert? Like, everybody get ready to fend off an assault. I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe there's some kind of event going on. Can you maybe see something in the edges of the map? I don't see anything. And that event, it can also be like, oh, it's out for the map. You know, it's, it's some kind of event in the world. That's the thing with the anomaly. DLC, everything's like a mystery core trope. So it can be pretty much anything. Probably one of our mechs will get bashed by whatever invisible creature is lurking the shadow. Sight stealer revealed. There it is. I have made an accurate prediction. Look at me. Mechs, everything in mech safety right now. This is probably not going to make it. But... Everybody needs to go right here. We're going to punch some more sight stealers. Evan Namas is in danger. There could be another sight stealer that's closer, but hopefully not. That's not the case. What I want to do is La Catrina has no means of murdering things. That is just not right. La Catrina is an ass garbage fighter, but... She can still contribute, damn it. Put on 
something that doesn't require a whole lot of aiming, such as this shotgun. A revolver is good. Ah, eh, just... Yeah, a chain shotgun is good. Kiefer says a chain shotgun. She is wearing a belt. Equip the chain shotgun and then come back. All right, everybody's being drafted. Who knows what kind of numbers? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're dead. You, the agri hand is completely obliterated. Everybody is being. Should I hold this open? Do you want them to walk in? You know, I'm gonna just hold it open. Don't worry about it. And we're going to get everybody lined up over here. Some funky music going on. This is what the number. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't hold it open because we are not ready to receive these monsters. But the elephants are right there. Our first line of defense. Uh, uh release. It's all right. It's all right. It's going to be fine. I, I will ride Tiro's weren't right up there though none of these have the melee none of these are melee okay okay i ex i accept that attack animals there's hike bash them there you go holy crap that is a massive group <laughs> that's a massive group whoa okay it's a uh, fire because crack like back is wielding a plasma sword it's okay it's fine it's going to be fine Ragman, maybe don't be part of the melee. Throw a blinding pulse right there. Should make them less accurate in fighting, right? I don't really know exactly. Drop a shard of Arctic technology. Sweet, sweet deal. Okay, these elephants are excellent. They are exactly where they should be. Let's get closer to there. Crack like back. We want some more bashing of the heads. Lego my bagel, you're not doing great. <laughs> you got into a bit of a social fight recently. The elephant is going a little too far. Are we done? For now. Jesse Fastman, just in time to miss all the action. Okay, like Katrina, you drop that shield. And off you go. All right. Well, that was good. Probably there's going to be more, right? Usually that's the way it works. I don't really want to grab any one of these. Nobody got any kind of serious wounds, did they? Just a few scratches here and there. Probably the elephants got a little wounded. They're immediately getting treated. Very, very good. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, I do want some containing, containment cells being built. And I want... What's going on here? Why are the bed rolls priority low? Oh, because this is just stuffed with shit. There should be no blocks here, though. Storage. No stone blocks to be stored in here, please. Okay, no store blocks. Okay, good, good, good our gorgeous laboratory is being dug i would like this to be deconstructed too it'll be very nice all right so that's a massive pile of twisted meat that we're going to be butchering it is allowed though right yeah 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 where we want to unsuspend that and we should allow Corpses, entity corpses. Put some size dealer corpses into our freezer. And it gets hauled in there so we can butcher it. So we can make kibble out of this delicious twisted meat. I don't think there is any any other good use for it. Did they destroy the agri hand? They did not. Good stuff. For some reason, Blargo got hurt a little bit there. Um, it's no more of that that needs to happen. How about you go and repair the agri hand? Finally, <laughs> an enclosed pen. Man, that took forever. Can I finally get some 
uh, sleeping spots for these boomalopes. That will be great. Damn elephants not destroying this entire area. And then floors. We're going to put some straw mat in like so. And you know what? Since we keep the elephants in here, might as well put it here too. Looking great. Well, that was an easy event. Sight stealers get completely destroyed by our rud rudimentary weapons. Quite pathetic, honestly. They suck ass. In this big empty space. Oh, yeah. It's time to haul all this out. Actually, I should cancel that immediately. And I want this hold out. Get rid of that garbage. I want also get rid of this garbage. The ones that are in a really unsightly places. Those are the ones we're going to prioritize. It's the most annoying ones. In the middle of freaking uh, everybody's bed. Uninstall that bed, ro bed roll. And hey, Break Souls is just decent still. Mmm, furniture. We can give him an armchair made out of human leather. I'm sure he will really appreciate that. Look at that, beautiful. Usually I will build a, like a chess set to make something a little bit more impressive. We can also give him some drapes. Of course made out of human leather. Who the hell do you think? Oh, that's what I always put in front of the bed. I forgot about that. Now this is going to look like ass. You can put the cannot put the drapes <laughs> in front of the bed. That's what I usually do. I completely forgot it. I guess we can just move. Feels pretty silly. Uh, we'll move the dresser like so. We're going to move all the dressers. There. Beautiful work. Great. Uh, why does Rag... What happened to Ragman? He's just... With the f muscle parasites, uh, the gut worms, and the food poisoning. He just cannot handle anymore. Just eat a little bit more raw human flesh. That will solve your food poisoning issue. There you go. Well done. Effing Damas, taking care of your buddy. Always doing the right thing. Is Diver going to join this damn place? Point three. Almost there. How's this going? Time left in the cycle. 11 hours. Why did Erica Dawson not like raw human food? Why? How can this be? Ate raw food. Oh, because she's not a cannibal. She's just, she just pays lip service to the creed. But she's not an actual cannibal. So eating the raw food is not good for her. There's a bajillion meals though. Why would you? Why? <laughs> Are you stupid? <laughs> or just eat the raw freaking food? Must be idiotic. I am seeing though. No mushrooms and no raw food. No raw meat. Quite upsetting. Is the problem with the anomaly? It doesn't give me a whole lot of rays. I did turn up the anomaly frequency because I want this to be like a haunted kind of area. Like Katrina is so sad. What's going on with like Katrina? Serious pain. Recluse. Ah, oh, the whole recluse thing is just is just terrible. Eight non-cannibal food. Blah 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 blah. All right. Um. I hate this so much. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do. We're going to mine out this whole area. And we're going to build an actual wall to replace it. And then we're going to grab this dumbass chunk that got left over over there. Pretty damn silly. Mm. This is taking so long. Why? Why is our... Specialist, because she's healing, I see. How about the, the digging bot? What is it up to? Is it maybe charging? Digging at sandstone. What sandstone are you digging at? Where are you going? You're not digging at anything. Oh, that's right. <laughs> All right. Let's build some walls right here. But not before... We haul this garbage away. 
All this trash. Might even have to micromanage some of these buffoons. Fathead nerd. Come get this one. This one in particular. Blargo, even you. You will haul this stone chunk. There we are. Finally. Hey, more boomalopes in the way. Great stuff. Ragman still food poison. How about you? Oh, he cannot walk still, huh? All right. That got built. There you are. All right. I was bothering the crap out of me to have that little corner unbuilt. It's terrible. Hey, there's some more mushrooms. Can we get the entirety of this? I, I refuse to plant anything until the entire thing is available to, for planting. I just don't want to do anything. It's just going to look lopsided. People are going to be going in there constantly because it's not properly done. We got some visitors. Oh, a combat supplier. How do you not realize that there's a freaking combat supplier? Let me make sure to send a trader immediately before it goes out of uh, goes out of place to send items on silver I don't have trade beacons huh oops <laughs> I mean I do have trade beacons I just I guess I haven't installed them I must be stupid let me just put this here is there any other in storage I know that I, I brought at least a couple Aha, that one's already put there. All right. Let me make sure. Anybody, I, I want somebody to do it. Get it done, effing Damas. Hike, don't go too far. I'm paranoid now. How long has this been trader being around? I really don't want them to leave before we get to trade a, little, a, a few things. Effing Damas, get it done. Okay, it's powered up. Cold Stellaris. All right, what you got? What you got? Give me your components. Give them to me. Mm, might buy the medicine. We'll see. We'll see what we got. I must surrender to the fact I cannot afford this mana sword right here. 3200 is just too much. I can get everything else that I wanted though, which is not much at all. Just a gene pack, really? That's it? That's all I wanted? And oh yeah, and this low shield pack. You know, you see one of these, you're, you're gonna buy that stuff. It is really, really good stuff. I might even sell some gold. I don't really need all this gold. The hell do I want this gold for? Here you go, I have 75 gold. That's pretty much it. We could sell the wake up, but we're not gonna do that. Maybe give it to... La Katrina. Just to be sure that the, she gets a little bit... I might just sell this reinforced barrel. They kind of annoy me to have them just laying around. Sieges will take care of it. All right, there you go. A little bit of uh, money right there. Um, give La Katrina some wake up just to stave off that horrible addiction. But her having... Um, I thought I saw... I guess he wasn't like Katrina. Who was it? Erica Dawson? Aha, chemical starvation. I think she has an increased chance of getting addicted, though. Chemical fascination is kind of annoying as hell. Uh, you don't want her addicted to wake up. If you want to get addicted to something, get addicted to Yayo. Get addicted to smoke leaf. Uh, wake up is kind of a, a, an annoyance to produce and to have around. Um, and, you know, it's a useful drug. It's not something that is recreational. So, we'll just wait a little bit longer. She'll be fine. Don't worry about her. Really want this deconstructed. I guess I'm going to have to tell them to do it. Is Blargo walking around anytime soon? No. He's just sleeping. 34 minutes. Time functions strangely when I'm playing RimWorld. Get rid of all this freaking walls. Deconstruct that. There you go. Hey, now we have a ton more space. Something like that. There you go. Just one of these uh, food binge on Erica Dawson. You know what? Of all the things that can happen, 
Food bench. I'm down with it. All right. Now we can build some more shelves. Nothing is as exciting as building shelves in RimWorld. I'm not even joking. Shelves are a huge game changer in the RimWorld vanilla experience. I told you many times, I just like playing the vanilla version of the game. There's so many. It's just, I feel like you start going down the mod rabbit hole. Like Katrina is getting dark visions as he talks to Diver. Just speak, speak in eldritch tones, whispering for him to do terrible crimes. It's, it, all it means, I, I am missing <coughs> a six pack of yogurt. Please go down to the store. But if you make anything <coughs> sound ominous enough, okay, Diver has been. Inducted into the colony. He even gets a, a bed soon enough. Who's missing a bed? Because we have 16. Oh, but one of them is the fat haired nerd, which lives in this little hall. So we do have somebody. We do have a, a place assigned for them. Uh, who is Diver? Diver. You must attack. Reveal yourself. Diver shall henceforth be known as Born to Crawl, the Groveling Wretch. There you go. Born to Crawl. Welcome to the colony. Now get to work! So I'll give you the hike schedule because you're also a night owl. What kind of work do you even do? Why did I put you in our colony? Honestly, you're kind of ass. You're just a good fighter. <laughs> you're a great fighter, though. Do I want to give you a melee weapon? Or just another one of these? Uh, I mean, you, you can just have the charge lands. You can do that. That is okay. And um, this will be your room. I'll show you to the, your room right here. Don't mind the boulders all over the damn place. Ooh, the artifact of... Cult of the Blargonites. Wonder what that is. Um, let me let me finish dealing with Born to Crawl here. He is not that great at anything, but you know what? That's fine because we could use an, an extra hauler. I am happy that you're not good at anything because you will have no role other than to carry things around. Even if it's crawling on your knees. Get yourself some clothes. You can't be... You can't be just walking around like that. What is it? Left click? Yeah. Look at that. That's so cool. Now you can do that. Was that functionally always there? I, I hope that it was added in the patch. And it wasn't something I was always able to do. Okay. Expand this home area. Haul this garbage out. And we're going to make some beautiful... We're going to give it a steel door. Proper lab. And going to have... Some floors. I don't have I have I don't think I have researched the good tiles. Do I want to do the steel tiles? They are quick to clean and get the bonus of cleanliness. If you put the sterile tiles are even better. But I guess we can just do steel tiles. How much steel is this? Just 420. That is nothing. And what we should definitely do is not smooth it. What we need to do actually is just actually actually dig this out we're going to make it give it some proper walls so you know it's going to be gorgeous ah! probably should have clicked on things first this you've learned of the relic. oh it's just a uh, it's just another relic t rose's horn the t rose horn is an ancient object venerated by all techno gluttons absolutely accepted but something just happened entity slayer what is this she can no longer tolerate hiding holding such dangerous entities in captivity and it is to destroy as many as she can. You know what? I'm okay with that. Lego my Mego. You are a cautious individual. Meg is like these dangerous creatures cannot be held under our roof. This is just a 
foolhardy thing to do. We must slay it. Besides, we have learned everything there was to learn to <coughs> about this creature. It's okay, Lego my Mego. Uh, uh, you say Entity Slayer. I say easiest plus forty mood of all of all time. Just lay the crap out of this. It's not like we worked hard to destroy him. Well done, well done, well slain there, Meg. You did a you did a good job. Look at her. Now she has a void catharsis. There was a madness building in my mind. It's gone now. <laughs> I guess it's a it's a different kind of catharsis. It's a little bit less a little bit less mm, positive components. Very nice. Probably it's time to get our farming situation sorted. I've been kind of waiting for this to get deconstructed. I'm going to have to just do it myself. Coldshaw, you are a builder, right? You only have five, so you're going to take a bajillion years to deconstruct all these. You know what? That's fine. You're not hungry, are you? You're not hungry. Ah, you might need to sleep before this is done. But I am glad. Oh, born to crawl all the time. They always the, the first thing they do is put on the damn shield belt. The prior number one for these people. All right, we're gonna dig this out. Give it the place some proper walls. Forty minutes already. I need to call it a day. It was a grand old time. Why are we making our our lab walls out of? I want to make them out of plasteel just because it's so freaking clean. How much am I spending? It is, I realize it's a really silly expenditure. Plasteel is valuable stuff. It is a waste. I'm going to do it anyway. Don't give a crap. Born to crawl uh, already on a day. Uh, not showing the most uh, useful. Not being the most useful there, born to craw crawl, your induction to the colony, not, not great, not great so far. What is this for? The stockpile. Oh, for mechanoids. Uh, okay, I was like, why is it there? I was confused. Let's get ourselves some light, furniture, some nice wall lamps. This is a, this is a high. Lighting area. Some beautiful light symmetry. I don't care that it takes a little bit of extra power. And we're going to get some power, standard power conduits running through the walls. This is a high voltage area. This is a well connected research situation. Like getting everything done. Very nice. Stream breaker, what's going on, Cold Shaw? I know that I told you to do all holy crap. <laughs> I realize that you will spend all two days doing all that. That is pretty silly. Anyway, I really have been procrastinating on the containment unit here. Let me just finish. Let me finish the lab. Get some re proper research all set up. And once that's done. Once that's done, the next thing I'll build... Hey, look at this! Finally! Finally! We get... Hmm, a giant mushroom plantation. Nutrifungus. And you know what? After all that, of I want it to be all done before it gets it, it, I start planting. We're actually going to do it in two stages. It's what makes a ton of sense because you don't want feast and famine. You know, sometimes you have so many mushrooms and you can't fit them all. Let's plant all these, have them be like 50% grown, and then we'll plant the, the back end of that, of that area. Power. What is going on? The power conduits. Uh, I see they are just not connected to anything. Hmm, that, will be, that will do it. That will freaking do it. There you go. And then we can put some hidden conduits to connect those two. <clears throat> Cold Shaw was not having a good time, alright? Man, look at all this. 
Look at all these blocks. They're a little out of control, the block situation. I need to start spending them. I need to start flooring all these different places. Really, I have been procrastinating pretty hard on the flooring situation. Where all this hay come from? I have no hay plantation. I really should have a hay zone. Put it right smack in the middle of the boomalope area. So, you know, when they explode, the hay also goes off in flames. Makes a lot of sense. Is this, why is this cold? It's 15 degrees. Because the heater doesn't reach. If I want to create actual walls here, I should do it now. By the way, did we ever... Yeah, yeah, we finished that. By the way, Ragman should equip that staff. It would be nice to have some proper walls over the place, but that is like a low priority. I really should be doing all the flooring, but I said the moment that this uh, is constructed, next up is the containment area. Wow, I am really smart. I <laughs> put on the lights before the walls were complete. I am very smart. All right, Meg is finally getting all this stuff. She is so happy to have a slaughter that disgusting abomination. What the hell, brother? <laughs> Blargo, what do you say to the dog? Cold banana, a barbarian. Just pointing out facts. Everybody hates each other here. <laughs> I love it. I mean, he's okay with the slave. He has a good working relationship with the slave. And with Ragman, everybody else, I guess Coltshaw is always, Coltshaw is fond of him, but Blago doesn't really care for him. For Coltshaw, <laughs> it's quite the freaking relationship problems all over the place. All right. Uh, I'm getting a little too lost in the sauce here. I want to call it a day. Let's get ourselves some doors over the place. We're going to hold them open. We, But we really should be, you know separating these rooms making them into separate entities and now we finally put that on man that took forever haul these boulders please and now there's a lamp in storage somewhere because i installed it and then they hauled it away probably they put it outside yep there you go <laughs> lamp that is so silly very nice we got finally some fungus being built. Anyway, uh, I could just keep going and going and going. Rain World is my jam. It's just always the same thing. Cannot get enough of this video game. See you on the next one, where more disasters shall be averted.